This is what you should have learned in Algebra 2 last year, Part 6. So we're talking about the logarithm properties, and a lot of times these are really confusing to students, but they're actually very simple. So it's basically like the opposite of all the exponent rules we learned in Algebra 1. So first of all, we have the product rule, and that's log base of b m times n is equal to log base b m plus log base b n. So in our example, we have log 2x or 2 times x, and we can rewrite that as log 2 plus log x. All right, next we have the quotient rule, and that's log base b m divided by n is equal to log base b m minus log base b n. So really similar to our last rule. So for our example, we have log x over 5, and we can rewrite that as log x minus log five. Okay. All right. Next, the power rule. So log base b m to the nth power is equal to n times log base b m. So for our example, we have log x to the third power, and we can rewrite that as three times log x. Okay. So that exponent just gets moved in front of the logarithm. And then lastly, we have our change of base. And then lastly, we have our change of base rule, and that's log base b m is equal to log m over log b. So let's say that they gave us log base 2 8 is equal to, we could rewrite that as log 8 over log 2. And so if you put log 8 over log 2 into your calculator, you should get an answer of 3. And that is all you have to do. So I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see more, hit that follow button, like this video, leave a comment, tell me what you want to see next, and we'll see you next time.